Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. News update for InfoLive TV. This is David Oman. The general strike in the public sector was suspended for one week after Finance Minister Roni Baron met Wednesday with his Tabut Labor Federation chairman Ofer Eini. In the deal reached, public sector salaries will be raised by 5% over the next three years. Following a historic visit to Jerusalem by the Jordanian and Egyptian foreign ministers as delegates of the Arab League, a senior government source said Wednesday that Israel is not far from a photo op with the Saudis and added that talks with Saudi Arabia have been taking place with third-party mediation for some time. During a meeting with the foreign ministers, Prime Minister Omar emphasized the importance of other Arab countries, namely Saudi Arabia, joining the peace process. Israeli and Palestinian sources confirmed Wednesday that Israel has authorized the transfer of 1,000 rifles from Jordan to the Palestinian Authority Security Forces in the West Bank as part of efforts to aid Chairman Mahmoud Abbas in his struggle against a possible Hamas takeover in the West Bank. Turkey's ambassador to Israel said Wednesday that the re-election of Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan and his Islamic Rooted Justice and Development Party will have no negative effect on Turkish-Israeli relations and that his country would continue to relay messages between Syria and Israel. The Knesset on Wednesday approved a substantial increase in the fine on smoking in public places. Smokers and venue owners will be charged 1,000 and 5,000 shekels respectively, as opposed to the previous fines of 310 or 630 shekels. A survey conducted by the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Labor shows that demand for workers in the second quarter of 2007 is up by 17.3% since last quarter, constituting a 39.3% increase over the same period in 2006. High-tech Israeli arms manufacturer Elbit Systems signed Wednesday two contracts worth $55 million to supply the Romanian and Slovenian armies with remote control weapon systems, electro-optic systems for armored personnel carriers, and unmanned machine gun turrets. Join us today on InfoLive TV as we cover 600 new immigrants from France landing in Israel. Also on InfoLive, the Jordanian and Egyptian foreign ministers in the Israeli Knesset. Today the whole world talks about Israel, but who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.